All right, so in today's video, let's talk about Project Stellar for the original Xbox again, and let's get into it. So I did see a lot of comments saying that the last video wasn't great, so I do want to try it again and uh, try to convey a little bit more of exactly what this is, as well as why I think it's important. I'm gonna show off the BIOS that this actually replaces, and I'll probably even show you guys what I did inside this guy. It's not very clean, so just uh, have that in, in your head already. Uh, I'm not very good at soldering. This is probably the second project, third project that I've done evolve, involving soldering. And most of them have come out very bad in my opinion. So this one uh, definitely didn't fail, which the other two kind of failed initially. At least uh, the GameCube one wasn't as good. I have videos on that. Um, there's another project I haven't actually uh, talked about yet but that one's also kind of has to be redone because I think I messed up the soldering. But this guy here, I actually uh, think I did a pretty decent job. It seems to work. I haven't done a lot of customization to this. I'm waiting for a little bit more features with the firmware as I tried to use the FTP on it. I think I described in the other video and it just seemed like it didn't work. So I do have an adapter and I can, you know, replace the hard drive if I wanted. I just haven't yet. Kind of like having the original hardware just with a mod chip. Let me know down in the comments what you guys' uh, opinion on that is. Should I change it out to an SSD? And I don't know what type of uh, performance I get from that. Would you guys want to see that in the video? Um, again, I want to apologize for the rushed nature of it. Zelda was coming out. It's not an excuse, but it that is exactly what happened to that video. So first, let's go ahead and uh, talk about what exactly Project Stellar is. So I'll leave a link down in the description uh, and also some links to buy it if you guys want to. Uh, I think it's back in stock, at least it was a few days ago as of recording this. So this project is to replace the BIOS that is ran before the dashboard shows up for the original Xbox. And the idea is that they can recreate it and be able to insert code to actually manipulate this guy to do different types of mods. It's a little bit better of a mod, and in my opinion, than just replacing the dashboard, as you can do that, as well as other things, like they're adding FTP, being able to actually uh, reformat drives and everything directly on the device, rather than having to use third-party software through Windows or uh, PC or Mac or anything like that. So the idea is that you don't have to have anything outside of this Xbox to be able to do most of the mods. Uh, of course you need to download stuff. You, you have to set this guy up initially. There's little guides that they actually created for that. And I followed that and it worked really well. Uh, besides not having uh, 1.6 uh, pictures, which they may have updated or may have not, but it didn't hinder me too much. Um, so I do recommend using the written guide rather than trying to follow a uh, video guide. And that was kind of why I didn't show too much as I didn't want to make it seem like I was doing a guide or anything like that. There's also another board that comes in the kit version. I think you can buy them separately where you're able to replace the component cables to an HDMI port on the back of this, but that makes it easier for plugging it into pretty much anything, capture software, monitors, TVs, all of that has HDMI, whereas the uh, component cables weren't very good quality and you had to like try to run it through an upscaler and it wasn't very good. So this actually has really clean uh, HDMI out of it and we'll actually show that in a second. When we switch over to my desk uh, and show you guys the actual BIOS screen and all of that for this guy as well as uh, we'll show you guys at the internals a little bit so let's go ahead and change camera angles to that and we'll show you guys uh, exactly how mine looks it's again very bad looking but we'll, I'll still show you guys but we'll go ahead and uh, switch camera angles check this guy out check out what I did inside uh, and then we'll switch over and look at the BIOS dashboard I don't know what else you'd call it the BIOS uh, screen so let's get to it all right so we got the Xbox opened up and everything be careful about touching anything inside if you do wind up opening yours and I have uh, the brightness cranked up a little bit just so you guys can see a little bit better um, it's a little dark here so this is the main board and it has other connections here for future projects hopefully but this guy is the HDMI here I unscrewed it but there's not a lot I can do to show you without changing or you know having to redo a lot of work 
So this ribbon cable goes over to, I believe the CPU is the smaller one. So it would, it would be running to the CPU and it solders into a bunch of points next to it. It's not on the CPU, but it is next to it and some points over there, as well as other points uh, for the display aspect of it to like tell it that there is something plugged in always, just so that it can kind of trick the Xbox in thinking the uh, component cables are plugged in, even though they're not really. And uh, so the Project Stellar board goes in and you gotta get a little spacer here and you gotta put it in the right spot. And you gotta put the board down on these pins right here. And you just put it in like that. And then you take the little screw that they gave with the kit and it is attached just basically through like that. And you just screw it in. So there is an uh, SD card here. I'm not sure what they're planning on using this for but it's not currently filled for mine. And then uh, it has an extension here in case they ever want to make another board or something, or you have another one that works together with Project Stellar. Uh, and of course, like I said before, there's other ports that they can go off to if they're gonna make other projects. Maybe they have to solder rest, uh, around the rest of the board. And then this guy connects to the uh, Project Stellar Xbox HD Plus, which is the magic that uh, makes it HD and through HDMI, so that I don't have to use component cables. I plan on getting another Xbox and having it stock. I like having a lot of the stock and then a modded version of a lot of consoles. I have that with GameCube, so I'll probably do that with this one as well. And so we'll go ahead and uh, put back the screw for this guy. They also included the uh, 3D printed accessory that is actually on the Xbox to make it look better. So I switched uh, the screw head here because they're not always, they're not all the same, even the Project Stellar ones uh, didn't come with the same type of screw here, but they did provide the 3D printed little uh, attachment here for the Stellar Xbox HD Plus so that it doesn't just have holes around the entrance, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and Put the screw in here and I'll not screw it all the way down. I like putting both in first and then do, and then screwing it down once both are in. I'm sorry that I'm not taking this off. This was a really hard to take off both of these were and I winded up cutting myself on and I believe this one. So there actually might be a little bit of blood still. I tried cleaning it up as much as possible but there was a decent amount of blood on one of these as they are really easy to cut yourself so be careful on those but the rest of it was really easy this project stellar board is super easy if you're not going to do the xbox hd plus over here then there's no soldering at all if you're just doing the project stellar board if you have the xbox hd plus on top of the stellar then yeah there's some soldering because it needs all of this information for making it hd but these uh, header pins that this attached to does all of it for the project stellar and then these just connect to it so that the project stellar can update this guy as well as uh, Probably get more some of the information off of this as well Maybe in the future. I don't know if they show it in the dashboard. We'll see that in a second But yeah, let me know if you guys want to see any more around the insides of here I can make a short or something to show you guys if you have a specific question um, I don't know if I'm supposed to take this plastic off I, I think i was supposed to i think yeah that was supposed to be taken off so i didn't do that so hey i took off a piece of plastic for this video so let's go ahead and uh, switch over to the desk setup and show you guys the software side of this or firmware side technically i think is what it would be but let's go ahead and switch over to the desk area and uh show you guys the bios all right so we're now we're back on the dashboard for the stellar os or you know the project stella that we've been talking about and so i can't really capture very good in real time the uh way to get into this but it's just like a regular pc where you'd mash delete but instead you actually smash the start button i think you can hold it as well just like a uh, delete on the pc but that's how you get into this bio screen and this is where it starts you out on it's been up for 42 minutes i turned it on a while ago before setting up everything so uh that's why that's 42 minutes that actually tells you how long it's been running 
I don't know if there's an easy way to get back to this screen once you have it running, but there probably is. And I don't know if that'll do based off of like soft relaunches or not. I haven't really played around with that too much. I haven't played around with a lot of custom dashboards at all either, but th those might be able to get you back to this screen with you know, having to actually force a restart or at least a hard restart. So this also tells you all the information that a normal BIOS would tell you about for a computer where you got CPU and other temperature stuff or CPU frequency uh, and RAM and this also should work with uh, different types of mods for more RAM. Different CPU I've heard is also a thing. Uh, let me know down in the comments if you guys have actually done any of those. I'm not experienced at all with the Xbox, uh, original Xbox modding scene, so I actually don't know too much about this, but uh, this also gives a lot more uh, customizability to just be able to go in here and change things. So lots of different settings in here that you can just do with Project Stellar Board, but also if you wanna control your Xbox HD Plus, which I happen to have, but you don't necessarily have to buy as a kid. I did find Project Stellar on uh, Castlemania games just by itself. And I think it was hundred dollars. So you can get just the Project Stellar Board, which is the BIOS replacement without the HDMI replacement. Just as a heads up, that's why this, I don't know if this is disabled, if there's not a connection to it, um, I would assume it just would be disabled or hidden from the menu if you don't have that. Uh, and there's other types of enhancements that you can do and you're gonna have to be a little bit of knowledge around what you're doing because some of these I believe can cause actual issues. There's gonna be bugs. So if it's anything like uh, the stuff with the CPU you may not want to do that if you don't know that you can take advantage of that uh, as I don't know what it will do to the use system if it's not modded already to be a better CPU if it'll overclock it and it might fry it I'm not again yeah, not sure if that's actually a thing uh, I haven't played around with this to that extent because I don't have any type of the mods like that but maybe I'll look into that for the future I do kind of want to do maybe the RAM one. I don't know if that helps a lot or if that's an easy uh, mod to do, but that's something I'm looking into. And so this is actually a newer version than when you will probably get it. Um, but this is probably the version, at least right now, that you'll be able to use and get to the latest. And it added a bunch of features from when I first had it for that first video. So there's a lot of things. The network devices are still not available, but here's all the tooling for hard drives. This wasn't available to me. Uh, initially and they added this in it's an amazing ad because this makes it so that you shouldn't have to buy the accessory I did to make it so you have to format it on Windows you can just come in here and do it and hopefully this will help you out a lot without having to do a more complicated way of uh, reformatting it there's input devices I believe you can get stuff that's not regular yeah right there it says not regular Xbox controllers and use some type of adapter for that so that's really cool there's an updater the updater it actually works really well and i haven't had any issues with it makes it so much easier than having to have to uh, take apart the xbox plug in a cable and then update it this auto automatically updates as soon as you just plug your xbox in to the network through an ethernet i don't recommend any type of wireless unless they come out with something and maybe this board has wireless on it and I just have and they just haven't like shown us how to set that up yet I'm not 100% sure if they have something later on for Project Stellar that will actually uh, have wireless on it then that's fine but like the old school wireless adapters do not use they're not secure do not use anything that was made when the original Xbox was coming out I I just know that there's a lot of security issues with those even the 360 ones you shouldn't use because of a lot of security issues with Wi-Fi and a lot of enhancements that have come forward to make things better and shown off a lot of vulnerabilities on those older standards so just avoid any type of really old Wi-Fi technology that might be available for the console uh, there's help there's a user manual there's a bunch of other stuff uh, on their website as well as on the, uh, the github and there's a diagnostic this is for like hard drive level partition stuff and uh, also being able to know if you find a custom dashboard so that's just a little thing they added which is really nice I have liked the 
uh, how fast they've been able to update this with being, I think, one person. Let me know down in the comments if you see this and you're more than one person, but make Mega Hertz, I believe, is just one person doing this, and he was able to redo the entire BIOS of Xbox, the original Xbox, for this, and that's what this project is for, and it's amazing. It has its faults, but it's gonna get better over time, and it's obviously a very low version number right now, and there'll just be major updates, and hopefully the team can grow, and maybe there'll be really cool ideas coming off of that with people pitching in and stuff like that. I just want to reiterate, I'm not saying that it's a bad product or you shouldn't buy it until it's version whatever. Just know that if there's a problem, it's going to take some time. They'll figure it out, but it's just, it is going to be slower, which is fine. And I also just want to make sure that it's aware that it's a fan project. And so there are going to be issues. I had some issues. I love tinkering around with things though. So it's just going to be up to you if you feel like this is worth it or not. Uh, I also want to get a regular Xbox, like, uh, not modded. I just like having the, the main version without any type of mods. I did that with the GameCube, I think I said that <laughs> earlier in this video. But, uh, yeah, so this has been amazing playing around with this. So let me know in the comments what you guys want to know more about. Uh, if you guys want to know any more experiences, if you guys want me to try out a custom dashboard and make a video on that. As of right now, I don't really have one that I want to go to so let me know what your recommendation for a custom get dashboard for the original Xbox would be all right so that was the project stellar uh, hardware look at it as well as the dashboard and everything like that so let me know down in the comments what else you guys want to see do you guys want to see maybe some other mods from the original Xbox uh, I can also saw an adapter that I might get where it takes the original component and Ethernet and makes it really usable for land parties and stuff like that so again let me know down in the comments if you guys want me to do that i'll have to get some xboxes together and before we get out of here like this video if you liked it dislike if you don't hit the subscribe button and then turn bell notification on so you get notified when we upload new videos and when we go live because we've been going live here now so you'll get notified for all of that all in one place you can also go over to discord if you uh, just want to get specific notifications i'm going to start trying to set that up to be a little bit more automated but live notifications on youtube kind of get weird because they don't exactly work but i'll try to get that all working so go ahead and join the discord we can talk about video games there and everything so there's a bunch of other links down there to socials to the project seller on castlemania and those are our affiliate links so we do get a portion of the sale uh, if you guys buy it through our link but that's most appreciated as it helps fund some of these projects we're working on so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one